NIT Karnataka. National Institute of Technology Karnataka Suratkal was established in 1960. It was formally named as Karnataka Regional Engineering College or KREC. NITK is located in Mangalore City, Karnataka, India. This is a post from your favorite education guide, College Suggest. Know your course, know your career. Click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications on your favorite courses and careers. In this video, we're going to review NIT Karnataka for the academic year 2022 and compare the statistics over the past three years on the information about student intake rates, courses offered, graduation and placement records, and other factors. Keep watching this video to know more about NIT Karnataka. NIT Karnataka ranks at number 1573 in Best Global Universities and number 543 in Best Global Universities in Asia, while it is number 51 under Best Global Universities in India. The campus is spread across 295.35 acres and has multiple cafeterias, guest house, bank with an ATM facility, post office, hospital, and other facilities to cater to the needs of the faculty and students. NITK offers 9 UG and 33 PG courses. Now let's take a look at the approved student intake rate for the past three years at NIT Karnataka. Here we are presenting the data submitted to the NIRF by NIT Karnataka for 2022. For the UG four-year program, the intake rate for 2020, 2021 and 2022 has been consistent at 740. For the PG two-year program, the intake rate in 2021 and 2022 has been 579. The intake rates have been consistent for both UG and PG courses at NITK for the past three years. Next, let's take a look at the student stat information. NIT Karnataka accommodates a total of 4,944 students. The percentage of male students sums up to 80.74%, while female students are a total of 19.26%. Out of the total 4,944 students, 1,733 are from within the state, 3,168 are from outside the state and 43 are from abroad pursuing a degree at NIT Karnataka. Now let's take a look at the graduation rate for the last three years at NIT Karnataka. In 2020, for the UG four-year program, it was 95.39%. In 2021, it was 94.97%. And in 2022, it is 93.76%. There has been a decrease in the graduation rate for this degree program. The total number of students pursuing a PhD is 934, out of which 120 are successfully completing their doctoral degree and graduating in 2022. Next, let's delve into details of the placement records at NIT Karnataka for the last three years. For the UG four-year program, the placement percentage in 2020 was 98.41%. In 2021, it was 89.99% and in 2022, it is 85.6%. A decrease in the placement percentage is seen for the UG four-year programs in the last three years. The top recruiters at NITK include ISRO, Bail, Accenture, Capgemini, l and Infotech, and O9 Solutions. Now let's take a look at the median salary package offered to students at NIT Karnataka over the last three years. Students who graduated with a UG degree were offered 8 lakh per annum in 2020, 9.86 lakh in 2021, and 10 lakh in 2022. An increase in the salary is seen over the last three years. The Career Development Center at NIT Karnataka has a systematic approach towards organizing campus placements and assists students to obtain a good job. Next, let's take a look at the capital expenditure done by NIT Karnataka for 2022. The total expenditure sums up to 101.1 crore, and this includes the money spent for improvising the library, research lab facilities, conducting workshops and seminars, and also developing the infrastructure of the academic buildings. Out of the total expenditure, 5.36% was used for improving library facilities, 40.36% for upgrading the lab equipment used in research labs, 7.16% was used for organizing and conducting workshops, and nearly half of the funds, summing up to 47.12%, was used in improving the infrastructure of the academic campus. 
the total capital expenditure done by NIT Karnataka has increased in 2022 compared to 2021 and 2020. Next, let's take a look at the operational expenditure done by NIT Karnataka for 2022. The total operational expenditure includes money allotted for salary towards faculty and other staff members, maintenance of academic facilities, and conducting workshops sums up to 236.76 crore out of which 48.44% was used for salaries for the staff and faculty, 51.22% towards improving the academic infrastructure, and 0.34% was used towards organizing workshops. Comparing the last three years, there has been an increase in the operational expenses done by NIT Karnataka. Next, let's take a quick look at the patents published and granted by NIT Karnataka over the last three years. In 2018, a total of 12 patents were published and 3 were granted. In 2019, 9 were published and 2 were granted. In 2020, 11 patents were published and 6 were granted. The number of patents being granted has increased over the last 3 years. Next, let's take a look at the sponsored research funds received by NIT Karnataka over the last 3 years. In 2020, they received a total of 20.65 crore from 34 funding agencies to complete 152 projects. In 2021, a total of 28.49 crore was received from 40 agencies to complete 200 projects. In 2022, a total of 46 crore was received from 29 funding agencies to complete 226 projects. An increase is seen in both sponsored funds as well as the number of projects. Next, let's take a look at the funds received from consultancy projects to NIT Karnataka for 2022. In 2020, a total of 1.64 crore was received from 243 clients to complete 280 projects. In 2021, a total of 8.56 crore was received from 281 clients to complete 316 projects. In 2022, they received a total of 14.81 crore from 337 clients to complete 606 projects. There has been an increase in the total funds received and also the number of projects has doubled in 2022 compared to 2021 and 2020. Let's now take a look at the faculty data and fee structure details. NIT Karnataka has 329 faculty members in total, out of which 88.45% are PhD holders. The faculty to student ratio is 1 is to 15. The approximate fee for the first semester at NIT Karnataka is 85,815. And the overall cost to complete a degree at NIT Karnataka will be 5,38,750. Please note that the fee structure mentioned is subject to variation. NIT Karnataka has a well-equipped library with modern facilities accessible to students and faculty. Institutional Digital Repository is a platform where students and faculty share their recent research, journal articles, and papers. Some of the notable alumni from NITK include K.V. Kamath, President of BRICS, former chairman of ICICI Bank, and former chairman of Infosys. Pramod Madhvaraj, former Minister Government of Karnataka. Sunil Kumar, Provost, John Hopkins University. Adi Mulappu Suresh, Minister of Education in the Government of Andhra Pradesh. K. Ulas Karanth, Director of Wildlife Conservation Society India Program. Central Research Facility at NITK has been set up with a budget of 80 crore. It has the latest equipment and well-developed infrastructure facilities. NITK organizes a summer school on machine learning and deep learning free for students, faculty, and researchers. NITK offers a lot of scholarships and they are as follows. Harshita Chaturvedi Merit Kam Means Scholarship for First Year BTEC, Lotus Petal Foundation Scholarship, Reliance Foundation Scholarship, Tamil Nadu Scholarship and others for desiring students. We hope that we've given you all of the insights you need about NIT Karnataka for the academic year 2022. What is the course that you want to pursue next? Tell us. We will provide all of the information you need to make the right decision. If you agree with our analysis, give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and for more information, visit collegesuggest.com.